hundreds of people were killed when a 7.1 magnitude earthquake rocked Mexico City as well as surrounding states on Tuesday. The earthquake toppled buildings and knocked out power to millions. People took to social media to share the devastation. On September 19th, a powerful 7.1 earthquake rocked Mexico City and surrounding areas. The devastation was captured on social media. The earthquake came 12 days after an 8.1 earthquake hit off Mexico's Pacific coast and on the 32nd anniversary of the Michoacan earthquake of 1985, the biggest earthquake to ever hit the country's capital. You know, obviously everyone has been hearing about these earthquakes in Mexico. And I think what makes earthquakes so scary is that there's no warning. It's not as though you see it on the horizon. Right. The weatherman can't, can't gather your things. The weatherman the can't tell you the big, the big uh, natural disaster is coming. And uh, you know, I spoke to a number of Mexicans from Mexico, you know, about this, and they just shake their head and they go, "Unfortunately, in Mexico." You know, the way certain buildings are built, mm. it's it's a setup for for real disasters. And number two, and we're gonna get into it in a second, is the people just aren't prepared. They're not prepared and then dealing with the aftermath. I mean three million people, the entire island is without power. I can't really even fathom that. The, the a couple weeks ago our house went out <laughs> with power for all of eight hours, but like the seventh hour the kids were like, What's gonna happen? And I'm looking at the fridge like, we gotta get this to mom and dad's house, you know, like it's eight hours. This yeah, is an entire you know, talking nation. Talking about earthquakes, which, you know, growing up in California, yeah. we've all been through the rollers That's over right. the years, but nothing compared nothing. to what they just suffered in, in Mexico. And it's not over. I mean, flash floods, mudslides, they're already in a recession. They declared bankruptcy earlier this year, right? We're tens of billions of dollars in debt in Puerto Rico. Like, now what's gonna happen? Luckily, building codes here in the US have improved greatly, so luckily a lot of newer buildings are meant to withstand these earthquakes. But a few things you can do. Tip number one, make your home safe or just find and make sure you can correct structural weaknesses. In any earthquake, those structural weaknesses are what oftentimes lead to collapses and death. Tip number two, know where to take cover. This is so important. In each room, identify the safest place to drop cover and hold on during an earthquake. Perform family drills so that your kids know where to go to be safe. Mm -hmm. Another tip is just getting trained in CPR and first aid because God forbid something does happen to a loved one or a bystander, you can save someone's life with CPR. And to help out with that, have an emergency kit at all times. We're gonna have a list on our website of must-have items because with things like earthquakes, you can't predict it. With an hurricane, you may see it coming, but earthquakes always be prepared. Speaking of hurricanes, obviously people in the Caribbean are already reeling, but there was another major hurricane that hit the Caribbean, Hurricane Maria. And it just seems like this- They don't get a break. I mean, it's hurricane season. It's one after yeah, another. Yes. They haven't even bounced a, back. Obviously they still have high back. water, standing waters. They yes. they weren't able to, to come back to rebuild after the first onslaught. Now yeah. now Maria's there yeah. after Jose, after Irma. It's it's Everyone's just, displaced. There's no way to actually get the resources that they need to rebuild because the onslaught has been nonstop. And I have a couple of friends who were just recently in the Caribbean and I mean they missed it by this much, you know, maybe by a couple of days, but this is the season. This and is parts of the Caribbean part of the that Caribbean. are yeah. devastated. Absolutely. And back to being prepared, this is, I don't know that you can prepare. Puerto Rico, apparently the strongest hurricane to hit. Ever. And right. yeah, yeah so, so to me, this is just a time for them to be in our thoughts and prayers. I'd yeah. be remiss if I didn't say, look, if you can donate to earthquake and hurricane relief efforts.